10 to 41 to time right now. Here this morning with some unconventional wisdom. Now, yesterday we aired part one of my interview that uh, aired last week with actor, comedian, and D.L. Hughley, author D.L. Hughley. And this morning, here's part two of our conversation. I follow you on social media, and every time you say anything uh, about race or anything that's even close to race, you get, I mean, people come out of the woodworks and they immediately start attacking you. So I'm sure you're getting some of these same attacks with this book. Uh, are you, does any, any of that bother you? Or are you no. used to it at this point? No. Why would I care what people think of me? I like what, what, a cheer and a boo pretty much feel the same way to me. Like, people's idea of, of me is none of my concern. Um, I just, I, I think my gig is to say it, like call it like I see it. And of course, um, people are not going to like it. I mean, but that's that's the gig. What are they going to do, say something mean to me on Twitter? I can, I can give a damn about what people think. <laughs> if, uh, but, but, I, but I think that I'm not guided by that. And I'm not... I'm not guided by the idea of trying to, you know, disrupt people. I, I just, I just call it like, like to me, this whole Kanye thing. I really think running for president. I think him and Donald Trump are really the same person. Uh, Maddie, uh, same I record some of the show on this computer. Narcissistic. Neither of them read. Some of the show it, is fine, but then some of the video is all girl. I don't understand why. Because it chose a white supremacist. Like while it's playing, you know, on the website. When you needed other skills. Uh, no one knew Half that the pandemic would come. Fine. No and I don't know. In the world will be coming. I, mean, I can't you know, figure out why. Economically would be coming. Nobody we knew that there would be. Because uh, I got this thing uh, in here, so it won't. Because you can't play it out loud. Protest. But, but the volume has to be up. Account for that. And America's so best at, uh, when I went back and looked at it, it was like. Opportunity was a dude who just was late. So what was happening is you're hearing us. So I think that a lot of things we do. Uh, we kind of, we kind of. But the video is we're still having these the tape delay from the website. Family, I don't children, understand why the audio, why our, our audio is going in here. So. When you're, when you're black in America, do you sure. think we would be I mean, having so. this conversation at this point? Even William Barr yesterday said that there was, uh, you know, bias in the way that this is uh, uh, that, uh, my podcast. That, uh, communities of color. And this is all this is uh, like and, on the website. You know how they post up segments on the website. That's what I think. So <laughs> it, it, I think that that. it is something that is so obvious. But I also think that there were a lot of things at play. I think that the fact that we had a pandemic where the whole world was shut down, there was so much fewer and the world was a lot quieter now. It was easier to hear a lot. And I think um one of the things that came out of that it was that America was under quarantine and home for so long. So I was watching. It started to matter. Let's see, hold on. So, um, a documentary uh, yesterday. It was hard to turn away and to deny the things that they've seen on the History and Channel. One of the biggest problems we've always had is about getting the, to at least the Civil War to take a look at them because um, they've always been adverse to seeing things that make them feel uncomfortable. Well, the they were forced to. And if you see something, you got to say something. And I think that's what's going on right now. And I, I did not I know. Very hard to buy. What do you hope people take away from from, the, from the mayor of New York? Once they, once, once they get through the end of it and they're like, wow, either wow or whatever. Or what do you hope they take away from it? Well, at the end of it, there's a peace treaty they can sign. And we're going to ratify that at the Martin <laughs> at, the, at the Magic Johnson Theater. What, what, what I hope <laughs> is that they laugh and they learn. And I hope that they're going to take the the them worth the $25 that they spent. So he didn't care about, he didn't care about slavery. He's just like, we need that cotton from down there. So whatever. So we're not going to. We as a country have wanted to succeed, no one, succeed and, and, from the no union so and, and those they could be independent and want to create his own America state. It was going to be the history tri and I forgot what it was called. Try, try something. <laughs> and so hey, what what's up? is that they'll see some things Love and it. laugh at some things. And I had my day off. I was supposed to be sick on Friday. I had it all mixed up. Life. I hope to change um, uh, people's uh, the, the frequency that they're set to. No, to I, that's a podcast. Well, they're on, and one of those things. <laughs> is, I mean, I know Terry Crews is worried about black supremacists and us being seen becoming the supreme being. But it would well, be mine happens that every year. Today. Usually, it happens in the season. Yeah. And I think so. Uh, if the book does well, uh, come of that, I'll be happy. Thank, thank you. you. All right, uh, just a reminder, you can listen to the Unconventional thank you. Podcast on Apple So Podcasts, I was Google I was just about to tell Matt Slusher about the documentary I watched yesterday. Fox 5 website and click on the, on the History Podcast Channel. Tab. Aaron?